Now that the snapper have started to uh, come into Port Phillip Bay, we've decided to do a refresher course on how to uh, fillet your, your snapper. And the main thing is with your snapper, like any fish, if you go out fishing and you get, catch your fish and you just leave them sitting in your esky floating around in water for three or four hours, that fish is going to be no good when you try and fillet it. That's going to be no good when you try and cook and eat it. So the first thing, and I've always said the same thing, always emphasise this is, once you catch a fish, very, very important that you look after that fish. So we, we went out yesterday, we had quite a good day yesterday. So the first thing we, we've got done is the fish have been sitting uh, in ice the whole time. So what I do, I'll, I'm gonna show you the whole process. I'll fillet the fish, and once them fish are filleted, we do this. I've got this tray here. I put them fish in the beer fridge overnight, not scaled with the skin still on them, all right? And then I'll show you how I take the skin off the fish, fill it the fish, and that will show you the end product. But it's all about looking after the fish because I've, I've actually converted a lot of my friends, a lot of my mates that didn't like snapper, I've converted them now and they actually love snapper. And uh, it's all in the preparation, it's about looking after your fish, filling it properly, and then you'll, you'll, you'll love it, it's, it's as good as anything. I, I like this knife, it's not too, not too flexy, but just flexy enough, and it's nice and sharp, it's got a good point on it. But just take your time, um, there's no rush. Main thing is to get that fillet, nice, nice fillet, sharp knife, and here we go, we'll show you the go. So you've got the fin here, so we just go around that front fin down there like that, and we come up around the back of the head, you don't want to waste too much fish, so you come up around the back of the head like that. Okay, now, then, we go down the backbone of the fish, just start anywhere, nice and easy, don't rush, but just go along the backbone, start your cut along the backbone like that, and then you can see the backbone, and so you just keep tight along the bone like that, and you can see that beautiful, look at that fish, and that's because it's been on ice. It's nice and firm, and it's been on the ice, so you just, you cut him along the backbone like that, and you go into the middle. Just gotta watch Brett there, I don't wanna stab Brett, but, yeah, and you got the couple of lumps in the middle, a couple of the bumps, and you got the rib cage up the front, so we're over that halfway mark. We just go like that. Right, so you can see that, we're just hard up against that the ribs, and we go up, and then we've got the rib cage there. So with the rib cage, all right, so we just go across the fish like that, find out where the ribs end, which they end there, and then we just come around the rib cage like that. All right, around the rib cage, and look at that, there's your fillet. There's that fillet like that, and there's your snapper. No waste, you, you, you keep hard up against the bone, beautiful white meat, but that's because it's been sitting in the ice. So now, the next step is, once, once I get them like that, right, I pack it, I put them in here, and let them set in my fridge overnight. So this one's been sitting in the fridge overnight, Brett, and then I use my bigger knife here, and once again, it's quite sharp, all right, it's been in the fridge all night. Right, it's just all it is is a matter of just starting there, nice and easy once again. Just going straight along with your knife like that. And you just go straight along and there you go. You're not worrying about scaling the fish. You don't have to scale the fish. You're not wasting any of the fish and it keeps it nice and firm. And then so we've got that lovely piece of snapper there but we've got the bones that run down the middle. So what we do, we just take that bit off like that, cut that little bit of blood meat, little bit off the back, because we don't want to eat that. People don't like that. Yeah, so we've got that row of bones along there, Brett. So, just a matter of cutting that out like that. And you've got it up the front there. So there's that, that's your row of bones from the middle of the fish, that's there. So now we've ended up with, you can take that off if you want, I'm, I'm not too fussed, I don't mind that, but take that off. What you've ended up with 
is two lovely bits of fish. You wouldn't even know that's a piece of snapper. Look how wide it is and beautiful it is. Okay, now, if you want to cut your fillets, you want to get a bit of length on your fillets, go on a bit of an angle like that. You go like that, there's a fillet, one fillet. Same again, bit of an angle, two fillets. We're not cutting them too thick. You cut them too thick, it takes too long to cook them and it dries out. That's the trick to eating it, isn't it? Oh, thin fillets. That, if you cut them too thick, well then, you've got to cook it for too long. And then, so then that's them fillets there. And then with this bit here, I can just cut him in. I'll just cut him in half like that, buddy. Like that. Um, I'll whack that little bit off there. And so there, you've got the finished product. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces of... Beautiful, beautiful fillets. Look at that, that's just... No blood from... That, and that will eat absolutely magic. It's good as lighting, eh? Oh, yep. But it, that's all about how you look after your fish because there's, there's no secret, you've got to have ice on your fish. Um, you don't let it, have to let them sit in the fridge overnight. If they've been on ice all day, they'll be cold enough to do that. But yeah, you can scale your fish if you want. Okay. Yeah, well, no, with with uh, with the by byproduct off the off the snapper, I've got quite a few friends that love me to keep the heads, and I just I just end up chop. I've got a chopper at home. I just chop the cut the rib cage off, and that just keep the heads like that and freeze them together. Put them in a bag. When I get half a dozen, they'll come around and pick them up. I don't know how they cook them, but they absolutely love them. But you only have to use the pointy knife. You don't have to force your knife. Just use the pointy knife. Take it slow. And um, yeah, after you've done a couple, you get the hang of it and you, you'll have no problems. These bags have come on the market the last couple of years. Um, yeah, really, really, really very, very handy to have. You get a couple of bags of ice, throw it in there and um, you go out, you catch a few snapper. The snapper, you don't have to squeeze them up and scrunch them up to fit them into an esky. They fit in these bags beautifully. The ice covers them well, and you can leave them in there overnight, and you've got no problem about the ice melting or anything. Northerns in as well. You can put a couple of great northerns in too. A lot of people like to scale their fish. If you want to scale your fish, very, very handy item here from Ocean Accessories. It's got the long handle on it, which is important because you've got the little scaler. How many times, I don't know, I've done it where you've got the little scaler and you end up with a... Uh, a bone in your hand. So you got that? That's just very easy to start, scale the snapper. Look at that, scales just come off very, very easily. Yeah, and you can keep your hand away from the from the bones. A bit harder with the, the well, it's yeah, it's not the fish has been sitting in ice all night, so it's a little bit harder than normal. But still, you can see, Brett, it's very, very quick. A lot better than those little ones, eh? Uh, yeah, a lot better than the little ones. A lot safer too, because you get these. This bone here goes in you, mate. Oh, no. I've had them in me before. Yeah, so the long-handled scaler. How'd you get the bone out? I end up having to go to the doctor. Really. Yeah, there you go. Beauty. Uncle 